And let's move on to the next story. Large crowds gathered along the route leading from Westminster Hall to Westminster Abbey on Monday to witness the funeral procession of Queen Elizabeth II. Britain and the world will lay the Queen to rest later Monday at a state funeral which drew presidents, kings, princes, prime ministers from all around the world as well as up to a million people to the streets of London to say a final goodbye to a monarch whose 70-year reign defined an era. A day packed with funeral events in London and Windsor began early when the uh, doors of 900-year-old Westminster Hall were closed to mourners after hundreds of thousands filed in front of a coffin since September 14th. At London's Hyde Park, crowds started arriving early Monday to watch the funeral on big screens set up in the park. Some arrived as early as 6.30 a.m. to secure the best spot. Leaders and dignitaries from around the world are expected to attend a state funeral for the Queen, scheduled to begin 11 a.m. Monday local time. The funeral marks the end of 10 days of national mourning, and the day will be a public holiday across the U.K. And still from London, where thousands of mourners arrived in the early hours of Monday near the mall to secure their spot to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II when her funeral procession passes by. Camping chairs, tents, blankets and step ladders populated both sides with rows upon rows of visitors, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the proceedings. At least 2,000 attendees, including 500 foreign dignitaries, will attend the Queen's funeral, which will take place at Westminster Abbey. The Queen's coffin will be then be taken along the mall and past Buckingham Palace to Wellington Arc, accompanied by members of the royal family in procession. Meanwhile, in Windsor, well wishers have been arriving early Monday to get a good position on the historic long wall to see Queen Elizabeth II's hers arriving later in the day. One of the mourners even says she came to Windsor to respect the Queen back since she did so much for British people, while another mourner says he traveled to Windsor with his mother to witness that he's described as a once in maybe a millennia event. After the funeral service, the Queen's coffin will be carried from Westminster Abbey to Wellington Arc and then on to Windsor for burial.